Some much needed new homes in Taft are being held up by a squirrel. A development of 350 new homes is waiting for final approval from Fish and Wildlife, and that's because the antelope squirrel lives on the proposed building site. 23 ABC's Chris Arnellis has a look at this little yet large setback. I've been building homes in Taft since 1967. Bob Colston has built more than 400 homes in Taft over his career. He wants to put 350 brand new homes on this land on the west edge of Taft. I was born and raised here and I want to do this project because we need it. I, I enjoy it. Taft has had a housing shortage for years. It's surrounded on all sides by oil fields and finding land to build on is next to impossible. I'd like to get Bob started on that so we can build the economy a bit here. We need, we need some homes. The lack of homes is so bad that many people who work in the oil industry in Taft are forced to live in Bakersfield. We have some, somewhere around 4,000 cars a day driving from Bakersfield to the west side to work in the oil field. Everything is ready for Colston to start building, but this little guy is standing in the way. Personally, I think environmentalism has gone a little bit too far. State Fish and Wildlife wanted Colston to trap all of the antelope squirrels on this 100-acre parcel and put monitoring collars on them. Then the state backed off of that demand and said they would approve Colston's project. That was six months ago. The governor has created the problem by pulling these people off working on the high-speed rail. Now Colston and the city of Taft wait for the approval they were promised. But at 82 years old, time is a luxury Colston doesn't have. It's going to be the nicest, best-looking subdivision that I've done. It'll be my final <laughs> hoorah, you know. Chris Ornelas, 23 ABC.